Well, there's many things in the pipeline. There are some additional uh, type 2 immunity blockers. There are uh, IL-17 blockers, which for a subset of that phenotype may be a better pathway. Uh, and then the other big uh, immunomodulating medication in the field is the, the JAK kinase inhibitors. Um, and those are already on the market. Well, at least one of them is already on the market to treat arthritis, and they're being studied in a whole variety of uh, inflammatory conditions that sort of feature type 2 immunity, uh, like alopecia areata, for example, and even vitiligo, and atopic dermatitis and psoriasis. Um, the JAK inhibitors, in my mind, are a little bit more, uh, I have a little bit more caution about that subset of diseases. It's a really, really uh, important pathway that's that's less targeted than than just targeting a interleukin four receptor or interleukin thirteen receptor uh, in the type two pathway. So it's a bigger pathway with with more immunologic implications, and certainly the risk of uh, infections and opportunistic infections and cancer are something that I really keep in the front of my mind when using when when thinking about using those drugs. I haven't I haven't used them in any children yet. This is the decade of eczema, we call it, or the era of eczema. And we are so thrilled and hopeful that the science and new discoveries that we are making about this disease that was hidden for so long are now coming to the fore. We are so grateful for the investment of many stakeholders uh, but our pharmaceutical uh, industry partners that are investing in this space, and we look forward to it only getting better and better and better. We also are very grateful and appreciative of the patient-centeredness of this new era, where um, the drug development is centered on what the patient needs, and what is uh, appropriate, and what will make their life easier, and um, being able to, um, for the first time, for patients to really express how this disease impacts their life, and what their favorite thing would be in a treatment, and to be listened to, and to have that uh, be taken into consideration by the FDA, by our industry partners, and hopefully uh, the payer community that will understand that uh, together we can really make a difference. We can save the healthcare system money. We can improve people's lives beyond measure with appropriate treatment. We can prevent the uh, cascade of uh, associated um, uh, diseases and um, health issues that people with atopic dermatitis get. The earlier we, we get to it, the better we're going to be. And I'm also very excited about uh, the uh, empowerment of the eczema or atopic dermatitis community to begin to influence and be critical collaborators in the entire process. And again, um, it is the most hopeful era, and we are thrilled beyond measure with what we know is ahead. And uh, it's going to be life changing and game changing, and um, uh, people need to have extreme hope.